So we're here in Stratford. Uh, the police warned us yesterday we're coming here to do facial recognition trials on people in Stratford for eight hours. We found them here on the bridge on the way to Westfield and we found also Silky from Big Brother Watch who's handing out very informative leaflets to people. What, what are you telling people? Well, we're letting people know that facial recognition is being used in this area because it's not very clear uh, and this is a, the main route through which people come into the shopping centre. So uh, once you're down near there, there are some cameras that you can barely see uh, and people are walking through and being scanned as they walk through. So I think we're trying to generate, like you, more of a public conversation about this new form of surveillance. There's not enough information there. What data they're collecting, what they're going to do with it on that poster. Uh, the cameras are these white ones. So we've been here in Stratford uh, for a couple of hours now. We've seen the police using the system. We've seen them talking to the public about it. We've been and uh, watched the system in action and we've been into the briefing that the police have been having. And there's still a lot of questions about this system. I mean, the legal basis for this is still not entirely clear. Jenny Jones, my, my colleague, is taking them to court about this and yet they keep deploying it despite not having a legal basis. The information that's being given out to people here it's not necessarily accurate and doesn't go into enough detail about the information they're capturing about you, how long they're keeping it for, what, what the purpose of the trial is. And I think that's a, a really big question. Are they testing the system technically? Are they using it for a real policing purpose to stop crime? Or, as I suspect, are they just more of a PR exercise to try and get the public used to this system before they've really got a legal basis for using it?